According to a whistleblower complaint submitted to U.S. officials, a former head of security at Twitter said that the firm deceived regulators about its inadequate cybersecurity defenses and its incompetence in trying to weed out phony accounts that propagate misinformation. The disclosure might cause the social media platform, which is presently trying to pressure Tesla CEO Elon Musk to complete his $44 billion offer to buy the business, major legal and financial issues. On Tuesday, a number of congressmen urged regulators to look into the allegations. John Tai, the group's co-founder and chief disclosure officer, said in an interview on Tuesday that this was a final resort for him. He said that prior to his termination in January, Satko made all possible efforts to get his issues addressed within the organization. One of Zatko's most severe allegations is that Twitter broke the terms of a 2011 FTC settlement by misrepresenting the extent of its security and privacy protections for its users. The claim at the center of Musk's attempt to withdraw from the Twitter takeover is made by Zatko, who also accuses the firm of misleading customers about how it handles spam or phony accounts. At one point on Tuesday, shares of Twitter Inc. had decreased by more than 6%. He joined Twitter at Jack Dorsey's request in late 2020, the same year the business experienced a humiliating security breach involving hackers who tried to steal Bitcoin from followers by hacking into the Twitter accounts of world leaders, celebrities, and tech titans, including Musk. The claims in the opportunistic timing appears aimed to attract attention and inflict harm on Twitter, its customers, and its shareholders, Twitter said in a prepared statement on Tuesday, adding that Zatko was fired for ineffective leadership and poor performance. His complaint was labeled a bogus story by the company, riddled with errors and distortions, and without crucial context. The 84-page complaint paints a picture of Twitter's dysfunctional company culture, ineffective leadership, and deliberate ignorance of critical issues by top executives, according to Zatko. His assessment of Dorsey's management style is particularly damning, he called the founder of Twitter very disengaged in the latter months of his role as CEO to the extent that he would not even speak up during meetings on difficult difficulties the firm was experiencing. Zatko claimed that he had heard from co-workers that Dorsey would keep quiet for days or weeks. Dorsey announced he was stepping down as Twitter CEO in November 2021. The following are some of Zatko's allegations of cybersecurity malpractice, people frequently installed any software they wanted on their work systems, and more than a third of employees' PCs had software and security updates deactivated, leaving them vulnerable to malware. Such errors are frequently viewed as cybersecurity sins. According to Whistleblower Aid, disseminating Zatko's testimony is illegal. The same group worked with former Facebook employee Francis Haugen, who testified to Congress last year after leaking internal documents and accusing the social media giant of choosing profit over safety. He's not happy about having to become a whistleblower, but Ty said he's adamant about his choice and dedicated to discovering the truth about this. If the allegations are true, according to a prepared statement by Illinois Democrat Senator Dick Durbin, they may expose severe data privacy and security implications for Twitter users around the world. Zatko claims that Twitter deliberately permitted the Indian government to hire its agents and give them direct unsupervised access to the company's systems and user data, which is one of the most worrisome concerns. According to the complaint, Twitter is also heavily dependent on funding from Chinese entities. Twitter employees were worried that the company was giving those entities access to information that would allow them to find out the identities and sensitive information of Chinese users who secretly use Twitter, which is illegal in China. The millions of accounts that are automated spam bots or otherwise have no value to advertisers because no one is behind them, according to Zatko, are counted willfully by Twitter management. Zatko cited a damning 2021 outside report that found Twitter's tools for tackling bots were neither sufficiently automated or sophisticated and instead relied on humans not adequately staffed or resourced to address the misinformation and disinformation problem.